Okay, hi everybody. In this video, we're going to look at the mouse hover effect using instances. What I've done is create an instance or a new object of a P5 vector. So this square is an instance and I've given it certain properties and values and I've circle is an instance. And I've given that certain properties and values. I've given them X values and you can see they're denoted are written as the name of the object with a period and then whatever that property is after the period and then the value of it after the equal sign so the x position the y position the width of the rectangle and i'm keeping track whether or not the mouse is over those shapes by the over property rectangle one over is equal to false that means the mouse is not over it yet the same with the circle it has an x property y property radius property and the over property is false because the mouse is not over it yet. Then in the mouse over, there's two things that I'm checking. I'm checking is the mouse between the left hand side and the right hand side and between the top and the bottom of the rectangle. And I'm checking is it between the left hand side and the right hand side of the circle as well as the top and the bottom of the circle. So the circle starting position is the, is the center so I'm using the radius plus and minus to the edges of the circle, right? If I'm going to the left, it would be the center point minus the radius and the center point plus the radius to get in between the left and right edges. And then if it is somewhere between in the boundaries here, I'm just changing that over property to true for the rectangle or the circle. If it's not over one of these two things, then they both must be false. And I have to tell them to be false, the over property for both shapes, because if I don't, when the mouse leaves, it will stay green. I need the, the color to flip back to what it was. And then in the draw function, uh, I'm checking four things. Is the mouse on the rectangle? Is the mouse off the rectangle? Is the mouse on the circle? Is the mouse off the circle? Right? Each one is a different color. If the rectangle over property is equal to true, I'm drawing a green rectangle. If it's not, then I'm drawing a red rectangle. Then I have to check the circle over property. Is that true? Then I'm drawing a green circle. And if it's not true, then I'm drawing a yellow circle and I'm still running the mouse hover function inside the draw function to check my mouse position and see if it's inside a shape. So there's a bit more code in this method but you can use multiple objects with this method. But I wouldn't use this if there was more than, you know, a handful of objects, I would use the constructor method. That would be my preferred method. But this will work if you just have a few objects. 